Girl, put your records on. <coughs> This piece of furniture has been sitting in store since April. No one wanted it because it was just too much work. The top part came off and someone built new drawers for it. It was missing veneer everywhere. And the legs were gone and someone replaced them with 2x4s. This piece was simply used, abused and thrown away. And nobody wanted to buy it. But last time I went to the shop, I saw it one more time and I was like, let's go. <laughs> I got you, girl, don't worry. I'm taking you home. I will make you pretty again. First, we removed two by fours. Like, uh, I'm sorry, two by fours are not furniture legs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make that clear. Then we had to cover the missing veneer with Dixie Mud. I like to do this step before I wash my pieces. When that dries, you can sand it smooth. To replace the feet, I'm using these I found on Amazon. I think it's a pretty good match to this piece. My husband came up with this idea to attach them to the piece. He drilled a screw right through the middle of them. That ended up working great. Now for much needed cleaning, I'm using white lightning. Cleaning is a very important step for furniture painting. Since this piece is a dark wood, we're going to use boss as our primer. Something tells me that this piece is a bleeder and I will just play safe and apply boss all over it. Boss is a primer and stain blocker which will prevent bleed through. It will also block that nasty smell from inside the drawers. I typically won't do this unless the drawers are really nasty like these are. Now for the painting part which is my favorite part. This is like so much work. <laughs> work, work, work hard. But I'm trying to save this dresser, so we had to do what we had to do. For the special piece, I wanted to create a special color. I'm using three colors for this. Peacock, caviar, and three frog green. I started by mixing my green and blue. Then I added some black to darken it up. Then I played around with green and blue till I was happy. Mixing colors is a fun way to create custom colors 
of your own. Just make sure to mix enough for the entire project. It's better to have extra paint than not to have enough. And yes, I have ran out of paint in the past and no, there's nothing you can do if you don't measure. I added one coat and let that dry. For the second coat, we're going to do some blending. For this, we will work in sections. I painted the top part with the second coat and immediately went to my other color, coffee bean. only adding it to the corners where I want to blend. I just want to add a little serious note to this piece, just a little of shading, like a little bit of dark areas. Then immediately grab a clean brush to blend that together. You want your brush to move back and forth freely. If it's not moving easy, then you need more water and just spray some. You're going to need three brushes for this. One for the original color, one for the dark brown, and one for the blend. First, I was going to do a bottom section as one. I was going to blend it all together instead of blending each drawer by itself. Once I did that, I realized it will be better to do each drawer separate. I used the same approach as before, working the corners and sides. Only this time I treated each drawer individually. Blending takes a little practice, but it can be done by anyone. This blend will look a little different when it dries. Sometimes you just have to step back and let it dry to see how it looks. While that blend dries, I painted the inside of my drawers with Midnight Sky. It's a soft black color. The boss along with the paint is going to seal all those stains. Now, to protect this piece, I'm going to use Big's Mama Butter. 
Big Mama Bada. I'm also adding some to the inside of the drawers. A lot of these older pieces of furniture have dry drawers that don't slide good. Big Mama's butter will actually fix that problem. When waxing on dark colors, you're going to want to use a black, lint-free cloth. I'm wiping it on with a brush and using my black cloth to wipe the extra. It's just much easier to work with and won't leave behind a mess. I like the look this natural wax leaves behind. And now for a little gold, or a lot of gold, we don't know that yet. Probably a lot. <laughs> I still have some of the older Dixie Belle gilding wax. If you apply it while the wax is still wet, it grabs very easy. I added gold to lines and details around the dresser and to the new legs. Now all we have left is to attach hardware. I got this beautiful hardware from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off. And I also had these sitting around from a vintage dresser. I was saving this beautiful hardware for a special piece and I was saving them for two years now. And finally, that special piece came along and I think this is a perfect match. I had already gilded these and ended up not using them a while back. So I'm adding a little bit of this gold to match it better. Then it was time to attach everything on. and we attach the top on with these brackets. And it was done. Whew. <laughs>
We came a long way with this one. It was a lot of work, but definitely worth it in the end. I love it. What do you guys think? We came a long way from abandoned piece of furniture that was really disgusting, falling apart, to a beautiful statement piece that now everybody wants to have in their home. I really love saving furniture. Recycling. I recycle. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you liked this project as much as I did. If you did, please leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next week with new project and more ideas. Bye. 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 Why I love to make songs about bye? I don't know. <laughs> Just another sunny day.